Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Mama Bliss. <laughs> All right, thank you for joining me. And today is Valentine's Day, and I have one of my little Valentines with me. Here is Kaylee. Say hi, guys. Say hi. Mama gonna do a mukbang. Oh, that's right. All right, this is one of my four children. This is the baby. She's seven months, guys. <laughs> she gonna play. All right. So she is wearing, um, and this is so cool because I actually got this from. Okay, girl, tell them how you feel. All right. So I got this little skirt that she is wearing from this little sister from Family Dollar. It was $5, y'all. It's a hair, it came with a, uh, it was a tutu, some socks, and a little hair bow, which she is wearing. Okay. And then this is, um, and this right here, we bought it. This is a Juicy Couture onesie. We got this from the mall, guys, from Lincolnwood Mall. Okay. There we go. Say woo, 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 woo. She has a lot of Juicy Couture stuff. Um, she actually got a lot of stuff for her baby shower, too. So this is her. But there you go. Say bye bye. I'll see you guys today. The money got to do my bong. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and if, let me stand up for you guys. If you can see, like, that's all they toys behind me. But I have on, also, a flared dress. You can stand here. And my dress has pockets, guys. Wait, let me... There we go. Whoop. Here. Because I don't want to hold her uncomfortable. Here it go. Whoop. And Kylie, my five-year-old, she has a tutu, too, a red tutu as well. And she is napping. She's going to be probably waking up and dressing up going to see us over here. So... Bam, bam, and bam, guys. And it is so for short. It is really cute. So, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Show it one more time before you go. Do the dance. Do the dance. <laughs> okay. So, that's her. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to sit her down. She loves the camera. She messed up my hair a little bit. And today I went with, uh, she just got to put a little hair in there. You want to be in the side show? Yeah? Good. Uh-huh. 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 All right. You need to sit right there, baby. I'm strapping her in, guys. Okay. All right. Excuse the toys in the back. This all my kids' stuff. They have too many toys, and so in the dining room, it's right off from the the their room is almost connected to the dining room. So we just said forget it. When kids eat, they play, they watch TV. Well, I don't care what they do. They can't even watch the phone while they eat as long as they're eating. So I got the toys up in the dining room. I got half like a little little bit of their toys in the dining room. Today. I have a special, special, special dish for you guys. Being that I'm going to go out to dinner with my husband. And I'm probably going to order something and want to eat cute and not be able to do a mukbang there. So I'm going to show you what I prepared. We're going to go out for drinks later too. But I have made a sexy pasta for Valentine's Day. And this is a good, a good quick dish. It's just some, I think it's roto I forgot what kind of pasta that I use for this. Rotatuni, if I'm saying that right, I'm not sure, but I, I did. I will be the, in the beginning of the video. You will see everything. So if you didn't see it, rewind it and look at it. I use this is what I call my my hamburger, my leftover hamburger pasta with hamburger bread with hamburger bun garlic bread. I made some homemade garlic bread toast out of hamburger bun. And the meatballs that I used in my pasta was left over from my hamburgers that I made the other night. Okay. All right. So you see those meatballs? I just cut them up and put them up in here. It has some whole chunk, like a, a nice size amount of bell peppers. Let me show you how big those peppers are. So that's bell pepper and that's garlic right there. She's not going to let me do this video. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Let me get her comfortable. All right, guys, I'm back. Apparently, she's not going to let me do this video. And so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in it. 
So forget it. All right. So this is a special, like I was saying, this is a leftover hamburger pasta. All my, I did not use prego. I made my own red sauce for the spaghetti. I used some fresh tomatoes. I used a can of roasted red tomatoes. I used um, some oregano. I used a little bit of honey, just a pinch of honey. I used some fresh garlic. I used some garlic powder because I love garlic. And then I used a whole stick of butter and maybe about, maybe eight, eight a whole stick of butter is eight teaspoons, tablespoons of butter. So that's what I used. And then I used, um, I put some bell peppers in it. After, first I sauteed the bell peppers and uh, the onion and the red tomatoes. And I put the can of sauteed tomatoes in there while I was sauteing it when it browned with the oil. Use vegetable oil, corn oil, canola oil, peanut, peanut oil, whatever oil you prefer. It's fine. It'll, it'll just change the flavor a little bit. And um, so I'm going to get that in there, but I don't want to cover myself. And um, what else did I use? We took her hairball because she wasn't having that, y'all. She was like, no. Okay. No. So, what else do I get? Okay, you can't use this one. I have to use one over there. Sorry. Sorry, I should not to pass the fire. So, I'm going to just go ahead and grab another one. This one. I have these laying around my house. Like, she has like four of the same pacifiers laying oh. around my house. Mm. When you get a chance, can you grab that for me? Yeah. N never mind. I got, I got it. I got it. There we go. Okay. So, and put put in the thing. Thank you. So, yeah. Um, and I put some, so it's bell, green bell peppers, garlic, onion, the seasonings that I had just mentioned because I'm not going to say them again. And, um, yeah. Saute all that in the pan. Pour it inside of a deep pot. And then you put one, two cans of tomato sauce. You put one can of tomato paste. And then you just adjust the water to your thickness. That's it. Put water to however thick you want it to be. Because the butter is, is also making it thick. And you can put a little bit of flour too to make it like a roux thickness. Alright. And yeah, so for the toast, just get some hamburger buns that you have left over that you didn't use. That, you know, for your other patties. And you want to put some, you want to melt some butter down in the pan. Put a little bit of garlic powder in that pan with that melted butter. Take the hamburger buns and flip them on both sides before they cook all the way. That's that way both of them have been submerged with the butter. And then you just grill them, like saute them until they get brown like toast in the pan. Like you'll do um what is that called? French toast. Okay. So I'm just gonna dive right in and start eating. You cannot have none of this yet. You are only seven moms. Alright. Sorry guys. Sorry to keep cutting off, but let's see how it goes. Hey guys, I am back and thank you for waiting. This is called parenting. I'm sorry, but I, you know, all that trying to be cute is okay. But at the end of the day, I'm doing a mukbang and I am not going to stop parenting my children. So happy Valentine's Day. But okay, y'all like her little outfit or whatever. So like I was telling y'all about my pasta, it's, um, I'm just going to dive right in. And I made this again over leftover hamburger meat. Mmm. Put it in a, I dress it in a glass. I uh, mean, I just put it in a glass. Put the pasta in first. And then put a couple of scoops of your sauce on there. However much you want. I drench mine. Mm, that's okay. I will no edit. Mmm. Mmm, 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 that in mind. Mm. Garlic bread. Mm. This is bottom piece is more crispy now. I'm probably gonna need some more sauce. It's so chunky. Mmm. It's so delicious, y'all. 
All delicious. See the flavor, but you can imagine it just looking at it. Mm. You know what I was thinking? That chop should go and get mukbang people that we know how we do these channels, and they should have a mukbang episode. Of people that actually make their own food. Because everybody that do mukbangs don't really cook their own food. But a majority of people do. And shout out to those ones that... Shout out to the people that do. Today I wanted to make my hair fluffy for y'all. Look at that girl got guns, y'all. No big iron, just guns. You push it. Yeah, but I wanted to make my hair fluffy for y'all today, so if y'all like it, it's not wet. Like, I usually put the water in mousse. I just left it fluffy. Like that, you know, Diana Ross style. I'm so short. I'm not that short, but I can't see in the glass. I'm five four. If you guys are wondering, almost yeah, five four a little bit. Mmm. Mmm mmm mmm. You can use wider champagne glasses to do this. It does not need to be a regular glass. It can be a uh, wider glass. A regular champagne glass. You could actually use cups. If you want to do something like this for a birthday party. Chili. Sour cream. Cheddar for little kids. They could be chili shots. For a grown up party. I'm a fan of putting food in cups. I love it. Love it. Mm, watch this video. Let me get a thumbtack. Let's take a picture and do your own thumbtack. I love but I'm stopping. But you know, it's okay. But yeah, you can. I'm such a fan of cups. But I do not drink out of them. Mm mm. And the reason why I don't like drinking out of cups is because a long time ago I had went to the old country buffet. And I was looking at their cups and I was like, these people do not clean these cups. I used to actually work at Chuck E. Cheese and they got the same cups as the old country buffet. They do not clean each one of those cups, guys. No. Mm mm. I'm putting nursery songs on for her. I had some mozzarella cheese too, but I'm not using cheese because I'm going to have some rum. I'm like doing the singers to her. <coughs> okay, mama. Okay. All right. So, hang on, guys. I'll be back. All right, guys. I am back. So, I'm pretty much done with this. I can't eat any more of it. I'm so full. I don't stop so many times. I can't eat no more. But pretty much, I wanted to just show you guys this quick idea of the pasta in the glass. And this is a wine glass that I use. I'm dropping stuff everywhere, y'all. I guess I'm just too short. If I was sitting up high, I wouldn't be dropping stuff. So if you make this, use a short glass. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Very sexy. All right, guys. That's it for my mukbang today. Thanks for watching my leftover hamburger pasta dessert for a sexy Valentine's Day dinner. If you are on a budget, you can cook this. If you... Don't have time, you can make that. If you got leftovers, you can do it over with chicken, pork, fish, whatever. Let me give this baby up. Alright, so other than that, thank you for watching and bye!